So, we finally obtained the quadratic combination, and that was derived from the first modal analysis. Therefore, we should now find the forces corresponding to a seismic event, so we might then perform a second analysis over this structure. Namely, that we need to find the corresponding vectors, so we can perform an adequate seismic analysis. In this instance though, let's choose a seismic one. And that corresponds to the IBC 2012 code. I'll just click on OK to confirm. And wait for the new case to be added. There. Let's click on OK once more, and confirm this configuration. And of course, run the calculation. I'll just wait for this to finish. Also notice the automatic calculation of all the combinations. And done.